I read a short story in a magazine where a girl student goes into her professor's office and sits at his desk and passes him a note which he opens and which reads girls like to be spanked but I've lost it I've lost the magazine I can't find it and I can't remember what happened next I don't even know whether the story was fiction or fact they may have been a little biographical fragment but from whose point of view was the story told the professors or the girls I don't know I can't remember the blinding ignorance I now experience in the clearest and cleanest road to madness. What I want to know is quite simple. Was she spanked? If, that is, she was including herself in her all-embracing proposition, if she was including herself in her all-embracing proposition, did she personally benefit from it? Was she, not to put too fine a point on it, one of those girls? Was she, or is she, one of those girls who, according to her account, like to be spanked? If that was the case, did it happen? Did it happen in the professor's office, on the professor's desk? or not and what about the professor what did he make of it or what kind of professor was he anyway what was his discipline did he subject the assertion girls like to be spanked to serious critical scrutiny did he find it a dubious generalization or at any rate did he set out to verify it. Did he, in other words, put it to the test? Did he, for example, in other words, say, okay, lie on my desk, bottom up, face averted, and let us both determine whether there is substance to this assertion or not? Or did he simply warn the student in the interests of science to tread warily forevermore in the perilous field of assertion? The trouble is I can't find the magazine, I've lost it. And I've no idea how the story or the autobiographical fragment developed. Did they fall in love? Did they marry? Did they give birth to lots of little animals? A man or woman or both must have written this piece about a girl who walks into a professor's office, sits at his desk and passes him a note which he opens and which reads, girls like to be spanked, but I don't know his or her name. I don't know the author's identity and I simply don't know whether the girl was in fact spanked there and then without further ado in the professor's office on his desk or at any other time on someone else's desk here there everywhere all the time on the hour 
religiously, tenderly, fervently, ceaselessly, forever and forever and forever. But it's also possible that she wasn't talking about herself. She might not necessarily have meant that she liked to be spanned. She may just have been talking about other girls, girls she didn't even know, a million girls she hadn't even met, would never meet, millions of girls she hadn't in fact ever actually heard of, millions and billions of girls on the other side of the world who in her view liked simply without beating about the bush to be spanned. Or on the other hand, she may have been talking about other girls, girls born at cockfosters, studying American literature at the University of East Anglia, who had actually told her personally in breathtaking spasms of spectacular candor that they, when all was said, nothing yet done, like when the chips were down, nothing better than to be spanked. In other words, her assertion, girls like to be spanked, might have been the climax of a long, deep, thoroughly researched course of study she had undertaken honourably and had honourably concluded. I love her. I love her so much. I think she's a wonderful woman. I saw her once. She turned and smiled. She looked at me and smiled. Then she wiggled to a cab in the cab rank. She gave instructions to the cab driver, opened the door, got in, closed the door, glanced at me for the last time through the window, and the cab drove off. And I never saw her again. <laughs>